What is going on everyone? So it's been about a week since my last Overwatch news video. There wasn't too much to talk about, so I've been waiting on the sidelines. And with that said, let's get into the video. So the first news story comes from my good friends at PvP Live. I'm going to be working with them quite a bit in the future on getting you guys the best news stories. I'll link to their entire article in the description, but basically they found in one of the Overwatch data mining forums a user that posted and found four new map files that most likely are related to Christmas releases. What those files seem to indicate are five things. Number one, and remember these are all Christmas related, an event like Junkenstein's Revenge will be released. Number two, up to three holiday themed slash Christmas maps expect a lot of snow. The third thing we can expect is every hero will be getting a spray, voice line, and a victory pose, much like in the Halloween update. Fourthly, Widowmaker, Renhard, Mercy, Symmetra, Reaper, Sombra, Roadhog, Diva, Anna, Soldier76, and Lucio will be getting either a costume, an emote, or a highlight intro. The fifth Christmas edition you can expect is for Winston, McCree, May, Farah, Zarya, Tracer, and Zenyatta, all of which will have two, the keyword being two, of the following, a costume, an emote, and a highlight intro, so one of those two. Now this user predicts this will all drop either on December 6th or December 13th. Once again, if you wanna learn more about this potential change, link in the description, check it out and get pumped. There seems to be a lot of stuff coming. I really hope, weirdly enough, that they dress up Winston as Santa Claus. The next news story today is the first season of the Overwatch Apex, which takes place in Korea, just came to a close and spoiler coming in three, two, one, Team Envious took home the win and beat out the Korean team. What? <laughs> if you know anything about esports, the fact that a non-Korean team won is just amazing since the Koreans typically dominate the world in the virtual world. Finally, the last news story today is probably something you've already heard, but I thought I'd report it anyway. So Overwatch just won Game of the Year. I reported in a couple videos back them winning big at the Golden Joysticks Awards. Well, they just won bigger now at the 2016 Game Awards. They took home three awards, Game of the Year, as I just mentioned, Best Multiplayer Game, and Best Esports Game. There you guys have it. That is all the news for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Uh, YouTube's crazy, and if you don't like the video, then you might not get my videos recommended to you. It, I don't even know. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.